I'm Jared Hatfield, and this is Tablet Tips. In today's episode, I'm going to review the Toshiba M405. The Toshiba M405 is essentially the same tablet as the Toshiba M400. This tablet is a very nice form factor tablet, nice and small. Some of the accessories that you can get are the extra slice battery, which is really good. And additionally, this tablet has a door underneath of it that you can store an extra reserve pin. So let's say I lose my primary pin, I actually have another pin in this tablet. Again, that's an extra accessory. The thing that sets this tablet apart from the others in the same category is the built-in optical drive. The optical drive is contained within the tablet. Other tablets simply just exclude the drive or have it on an additional slice on the bottom that is removable. Now, whether or not you really need the optical drive in a computer of this form factor is a matter of personal preference. It made a difference in my decision to purchase this tablet. It was a feature that I really wanted. Other things that this tablet offers are the fingerprint reader, which is becoming fairly standard. The uh, trackpad on this tablet is fairly small, but again, it's a small tablet. Some of the bad points of this tablet, which I've seen across several different models of Toshiba's, are the screen, is the screen. Underneath the screen is the actual display, but on top there's a layer of plastic, and this plastic has little gaps around the edges that dirt can get in, and this really builds up. I mean, it's actually kind of gross how much dirt I've had have under the screen, but this is a two-year-old computer that's used quite heavily. The other thing that this tablet has a problem with is actually it wobbles ever so slightly, just enough that it makes me nervous. I really don't want my screen falling off. The, it rotates and clips down nicely. It's really secure. The screen's great. You can draw, you can write on it, you can take all your notes. It's, it's a solid tablet. Other than that, this is just the run-of-the-mill tablet. Uh, the model I have is a 1.8 gigahertz Pentium dual, or Pentium Core Duo, not a Core 2 Duo. I actually bought this before the Core 2 Duos came out. It has two gigabytes of RAM, so it runs just fine. Does all the applications. I'm notorious for multitasking. And other than that, this is just a very nice, fairly portable tablet. There are other ones that are smaller. The battery really adds some heft to this tablet, as I will show you here. But it does get you the extra battery life. Your battery life for this, my battery life with these fairly old batteries is four hours. So, obviously, newer batteries will probably give you better battery life. But, as you can see, this is a very nice tablet for taking notes in class. And I would suggest it, especially now that it's been replaced with the Toshiba M700. If you buy this tablet, you'll probably get some, probably be able to find some discounts. And other than that, it's a very nice tablet to use for taking notes in class. I'm Jared Hatfield. I'll see you during the next tablet tip.